the Danish Minister for Development Cooperation and Global Climate Policy has just approved a new program. We call it the Building Stronger Universities program and it's the phase four. It starts in June 2023 and it continues for five years and it's a grant of 70 million Danish kroners which is equals a little over 10 million US dollars. The program has three objectives. The first is to support universities to do more research le learning and more research, simply to produce more graduates and more research. The second objective is to support universities in doing more research outreach and in disseminating the results that they have from the research that they do. And the final objective is to support the administration around the research. That could be grant management, that could be support of e-learning and many other administrative support systems that needs to be in place for research to be done. Three universities from East Africa are participating. They are Gulu University in Uganda, they are Hargeza University in Somaliland and State University of Zanzibar in Tanzania. And they collaborate with a number of Danish universities to implement this program. From the Institute of Peace and Strategic Studies Gulu University, we welcome BSU4 and we believe that BSU4 is going to do fundamental work, especially in promoting our motto for community transformation in the following ways. One, Guli University has just transitioned from war and conflict. And the communities around the university are eager for what is going to happen, especially in the area of reparations. BSU4 will anchor policy you know, directions for these vulnerable communities so that their voices are heard. Importantly, BSU4 is going to help us as a university to enter the space of e-learning and digitalization of the work we do and also in the area of sustainable uh, climate change mitigation and in the area of health and reproductive rights for girls and women, which is really critical in this era where women don't have decision-making rights in Uganda and still struggle. From the State University of Zanzibar, School of Health and Medical Sciences. And we're going to focus on our two major themes, environmental public health on one hand and marine ecosystem health on the other hand. There will also be a, a work package on postgraduate education and, and, and research and we are going to integrate more of uh, e-learning and blended learning in, in our courses that will make them more interesting, more accessible to students and our lecturers and uh, lecturers could, 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 commit, could contribute to this program from wherever they are through these uh, technologies. Also going to have a work package four, which is a, uh, a cross-cutting uh, work package where we are going to have uh, courses, short courses uh, of different types. We are, we, are, we are hoping that it will, be, will inform our overarching strategic direction in our economy and that is blue economy and all stakeholders will be involved in the process. For the first time we are part of the project called a building a strong university. Uh, the project is expecting to have an impact both at the university, uh, university level and at the community as well. The project is going to have different kind of activity when it comes to the university. It's going to give us PhD students, uh, master students are going also, their curriculum is to be reviewed, updated. Uh, they're going to have uh, an e-learning, free e-learning courses uh, the materials can be found on the website, uh, all the courses that going to be, uh, they're going to have. It's going to allow us to build policies and governance as well. When it comes to the community, uh, we have two important packages that actually is needed in the country, mother and child and the vector bone disease uh, work component, which we believe all together are going to have a greater impact on Somaliland.